Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we'll show you how to make your own set of light up Mickey ears. These are really bright LEDs that look a lot like neon lights. They're Adafruit NeoPixel strips with extra thick silicone, so the diffusion looks really nice. They're individually addressable, so you can create some pretty cool animations. We made it so they flash like fireworks when you shake your head. In this video, we'll show you how to wire up the electronics to make your own set of NeoPixel Mickey ears. The extra thick silicone gives the LEDs a full glow, while the other pair has more of a marquee-like effect, so this could be really nice for a more classic look. Both of these are side light NeoPixel strips, so the light emits at 90 degrees. This makes them great for running along an edge like these Mickey ears. We have a Gemma M0 with a tilt ball switch. This is a much simpler build and doesn't need a lot of wired connections. If you're just getting started and looking to get your projects up and running, definitely check out Microsoft's MakeCode. The Maker version supports a lot of boards from Adafruit and the open source community. The user interface is nice and simple, and there's a lot of great examples and built-in LED animations. You can use the simulator to test your code and get auto-generated breadboard wiring. This makes easy-to-read circuit diagrams, so you can follow along while you prototype. You can plug in the device via USB and upload code directly from the MakeCode website. Any supported board from Adafruit can pair with the device via web USB, so it's easy to connect. You can also share the code and download it from any computer using the Chrome browser. With the Gemma M0, you can hook up a strip of NeoPixels using alligator clips, which is nice because you don't need to solder. This could be a really handy tool for throwing a quick LED project together. MakeCode has a pretty nice set of tools, so it's easy to add some interaction. It's free to use, and there's no sign up, so you can get to it right away. It's also an open source project, so big shout out to the MakeCode team at Microsoft. You can get the parts to build this project. Links are in the description. We got these Mickey style ears from Disney World, but you could use whatever you like. We started by measuring the length of NeoPixel strips we'll need to cut for the ears. We used heavy duty scissors to cut through the thick silicone. Copper pads underneath have markings denoting the connections. We used cutters to snip away the silicone so that one of the LEDs are exposed. Wiring will become much more manageable with the bare end of the strip so we can expose this area. The arrow marks the direction of the data so you can use this to get the right orientation when soldering them together. We used a craft blade from Slice to make an opening in the hat for the LED strip. Just a small slit near the ears will do. These ceramic blades are nice and sharp so they can easily cut through this thicker material. Insert the bare strip through the slit and push it through the other side. Make sure the pads are accessible so we can attach wires. Test fitting the strip ensures we have the right amount of coverage. Next, we can get started on wiring up the tilt switch to the Gemma M0. Be sure to check out our learn guide for a full step-by-step -step tutorial. Connect the two strips together and make sure the data line is wired in the proper direction. This flexible ribbon cable will make our connections nice and tidy. We can string the wiring through the slits and carefully pull it through the other side. You can use the existing holes just behind the ears to route the wiring. The two strips wrap around the ears, so the wiring will need to jump between them. To keep all of the wiring hidden inside, we'll need to solder the strip while it's inside the hat. Now we can work on wiring the NeoPixel strips to the Gemma M0. Solder the voltage, ground, and data lines to the pads on the Gemma M0. Test out the circuit before we glue down the LED strips. To power the circuit on and off, we'll need to build a slide switch adapter. Wire a slide switch in line with the voltage wire and use heat shrink tubing to insulate the connections. We used a 2-pin JST connector so we can easily disconnect the battery. The slide switch will be attached just below the ear with the wiring wrapped above the battery. We used duct tape to secure the circuit to the ear cup. The Gemma M0 and tilt switch on one ear and the battery in the slide switch on the other. You'll need to apply some silicone glue along the edge of the ear cups to bond the strips. We used binder clips to tack the strips down while the glue sets. 
you'll want to let the glue cure for a few hours before wearing them out. But there you have it. That's how you can make your own set of NeoPixel Mickey ears. And if Mickey ears aren't quite your thing, you could build this into your wearable costumes or props. So you can reuse the code and circuit in any number of ways. We think a bit of interaction like Shake to Sparkle really make projects more interesting. And since the LEDs are side lit, they only shoot forwards so you won't blind anyone behind you. That can be really considerate for those fireworks shows and parades. If you have projects you'd like to share with us, we invite you to come on the show and tell. All participants will receive a free vinyl sticker. Also check out the Adafruit Discord server. You can join the community, get project help, and share your projects. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.